So for the food processor, I thought I'd do a classic salad. Now, a classic salad is called panzanella. Um, often done with sardines, but you can do it with all oily fish. I'm using mackerel, but also it works really well with things like lamb and chicken. It's fantastic salad, this, really simple. It's got like a really sharp flavor. But first of all, to get that sharp flavor, we need to make the dressing. Now, using your food processor, you unlock the processor itself. It's got a double locking me mechanism on here, and then unlock the lid. And then we're going to add to this food processor here some chopped tomatoes. Okay, so to lock the machine, place the lid back on, lock it first of all, then lock it again. And then you've got a feeder tray here, which is ideal if you want to add things like, while well, it's still on the move, things like onions we're going to add as well. A bit of diced cucumber we can pop in there too. Throw in the cucumber. And some red wine vinegar or sherry vinegar, it's entirely up to you which you use, but this gives it its sharpness. Good pinch of salt, some black pepper, and then I've just got some croutons ready. These are just fried in olive oil, these croutons. You just prop the croutons in, leaving some for the salad at the end of it. We just blend this up. So, fire it up. And it almost creates like that gazpacho style sauce texture. In fact, this is how exactly how you do it, gazpacho, exactly the same thing. That bit of sherry vinegar has that bit of sharpness to it as well. Now I'm using a metal blade in here to cut through the ingredients, but it does come with a plastic blade as well, uh, which you can use to make pasta dough and bread if you wanted to. And also it's got metal graters in there which are really good instead of the plastic ones. But what we need to do with this salad now, is to allow it to seep into the bread. So what I'm going to do is get a big bowl and then take our dressing and you can see it's quite quite a thick dressing which is what we want. Dressing and then a good amount of olive oil. That's the key to this one. So you've got the dressing and the olive oil like that. And then because we've got we're allowing it to seep in that bread now we can then add our capers in there. These have just been washed capers. The rest of our sliced onion, some crushed garlic, so you want to crush this. Don't be frightened about putting quite a bit of garlic in here to help it crush in. You just add a little bit of salt to this and we just crush it just with the edge of a knife and it'll start to crush all together. More like a little paste. And then the diced cucumber, which we can take. There we go. Chop all this lot up. So you've almost got the same ingredients in the dressing that you have in the salad, but in slightly bigger pieces. So some tomato, we can throw that in as well. And often this salad is found over in Europe with big chunks of fish and big chunks of meat in it. So, you know, you don't have to be too fine and precise with this. It's quite a chunky sort of salad, which is what we want. But it's that sharpness of the sherry vinegar that helps cut through the oiliness of the fish. So the olives can go in. Give that a quick mix. And then finally, just to finish off our salad, we then got some parsley flat leaf parsley, just rip it up. So again, nothing too fine. The smell of that, I tell you, is just fantastic. And I'm gonna do it with uh, a mackerel. You can do it with sardines, that's a classic way really. But mackerel here, touch of olive oil, a little bit of butter. Get the pan nice and hot and then season the mackerel. It's important when you buy a mackerel you buy it as fresh as possible. Mackerel also should be like stiff as a board. As soon as it comes out of the, the sea it needs to be cooked. So nice fresh mackerel. In we go, skin side down. Hold the fish down in the pan otherwise it curls up. Take another piece as well, skin side down again, hold the fish down, keeps it nice and flat. 
and cook this for about two minutes. So when your fish is just about there, get your pallet knife and you turn this over carefully. Cook to the other side. Then turn the heat off and the residual heat from that pan will continue to cook the fish all the way through, which gives enough time to then plate up our salad. Now this is one of the great things about this salad is you can pile it bang in the middle of the table. This is how it should be eaten really, rather than individual plates. But you can pile a whole load of it in and just let everybody help themselves. And like gazpacho, it gets better the longer you leave that bread in the dressing. We'll just put a bit of our panzanilla on there. A few bits. And then grab it a nice piece of our mackerel. that with it and just a final because it's a chefy thing little drizzle of olive oil over the top and there you have it my mackerel with a simple panzanella salad easy as that